So part two of trimming the bowl is making sure that we get this center like a secured and uh, start trimming. So we've got a tap centered in the, in the last video and that's pretty good, yeah? Cool. So we've got a little bit of clay. This is wet workable clay. Look at that, very nice. So I take a little chunk off, roll it into a lug. I put, my, I put one hand on the bottom of the bowl, a slight downward pressure just so it doesn't move around. Like it's already set on center. I want it to stay on center. I'm going to take this. Let me try to do it on this side where uh, you can see it. So I take this little lug, this little coil that I have, put it right there, and then kind of squish it into the wheel head. So now it's secured to the wheel head, and it's also forming a wall that the ball can't go through. Do that again. One third of way the way the round, one third of the way around. There's another one. You don't need four. You don't need five. But they're they're also like sizable. They're not huge like a hot dog, but they're sizable. Downward pressure, squish that into the clay. There you go, and you can trim all of this area with no interference, and those keep it kind of on center. So. You can use different tools. You can use large loop tools. You can use small loop tools. You can use like different shapes to get different, different um, carving things, like different, different patterns. They're like all types of ones. I seem to have a lot of broken ones in the studio here. So like, that's cool, <laughs> whatever. You can even use like really tiny ones to get like really details. Again, like that should be round, but you know, what isn't necessarily a good tool to use is this one because it's a round wire and it's not gonna cut the clay. And we wanna be able to cut that clay off. So I like to keep one hand on it so I can feel kind of what's going on. I don't want that one, I want, I want that other one. The other, I want the other broken one that I have. All right, fine, maybe I do want that one. <laughs> I'll use this one to start. So what I like to do is start with the bottom and usually you start with, I like to start in the center and just kind of go out just like with a little tip, a little point. And this helps to like to flatten, flatten the base. So the base is flat. And when I do it, I go with one little point and like I have this hand kind of choked up on the, on the tool. It's not out here. I'm not kind of, I'm not kind of doing this. Okay, I got in close, same like with the wrong position, arms locked down, work my way from the center out. And it's just cutting a little, very small amount because if the clay is off, it's, I'm not, I can apply more force to a smaller area. So I'm less likely to have the clay bump this and like create boop, boop, boom. You know what I mean? And then I can turn it sideways. You go back get a little wider section it's flatter it's a little easier to do and then that's nice and round so you can see it kind of bumping because there's a chunk of clay right there go back to this one so i'm going to leave all of this uh, through it pretty well so i'm going to use all leave all of that and i want to just bring this curve in a little bit trying to match the curve on the inside with the curve on the outside. It'll also give it a little foot and I could uh, hold that up if I'm like, I found that if I'm washing the dishes, if I'm doing the dishes, I really enjoy having um, like a little grip to hold onto with bowls so I can like grip it, wash the inside, rinse it, and like it's less likely to fall out. So I'm just gonna kind of go in this way Let's try this. If you have a uh, wobbly bowl or like it's really thick, you can, you can cut off a lot of material with this and you can like make it lighter, more usable. You can refine the curve.
So this is a solid here. I want to, I would like, I like having a little hollow piece in there. So for this, I'm going to pause my music. I'm going to like reveal an ear because by tapping on it, you can sort of test how hollow it is, how much, how dense, how thick this is. You hear that? A little sounds it sounds all right, but like uh, sometimes it's tough to determine. So it's the change, it's the delta in the sound. Delta is the Greek um, letter that's represented by the triangle. In science, it also means the change in something. Something so like the delta, blah blah blah. It's the change in it. So this is like what's the change in the sound? You can make a foot. So this is called a foot. And um, you can make it. There's so many possibilities for shapes, forms, curves, decorations. You can make large, small, sharp, pointed, round, curved. I really like to have the uh, inside here. So the inside, this is the inside of the bottom bowl. And I kind of like to have that mirror the curve out here. So it seems like so it seems like there's just a, a round hole with this little added foot, but the foot was added at the same time, so it's all thrown together. Also, if you have it here, you know you can go in there and it's not gonna cut off. I'm not sure if that's clear. But you know if the, if the clay is coming up here and your foot is uh, higher, so if the clay on the outside comes up here, but then the foot starts up here, you can bring that, that foot down and remove some of that clay. Later. That sounds that sounds pretty good. Um, it's not it didn't change. Uh, it's not super high pitched, so I know that it's not it's super high pitched. It might be really thin, which would be no good. But also, that's not that's not too bad. So you can then, and I'm satisfied with it. I'm happy. It's good. I'm good with it. You have like that little foot to hold on to. You can kind of feel it from the inside and the outside. And you're like, oh yeah, that's that's not too bad. And there you have a little bowl. And this that's how I like to hold them, like doing dishes. So wash the dish, wash the outside, and then like shake off the water and put it. So it's like a nice little handle. So that's how to trim a bowl.